people used to say that cracking your knuckles leads to arthritis. Mm -hmm. That's been disproven. If you consistently crack your knuckles, you may have lower grip strength. I do feel like loosened up after I crack my fingers. Is that a placebo or is there actually any research about I crack my back, it feels better. Every time you're cracking your back, you're taking it through the full range of motion. When you bring circulation, muscles heal better, they move better. In fact, that's why they crack because you're putting them to their end range of motion. So you're kind of stretching that joint space. You're popping that air bubble. You're creating that noise. But it's really the stretching and the movement that's making you feel good, not the actual pop. He clearly hasn't looked at the research on this, especially with spinal manipulation. You trigger a number of neurophysiological responses. There's central pain inhibition. That means essentially your brain dials down the pain sensitivity, even in the areas where not adjusted. It also boosts proprioception your brain's ability to know where your body is in space, which improves balance and coordination. Biomechanically, it releases trapped joint tissue, breaks up adhesions, and restores normal joint motion. There's also autonomic and motor involvement. Studies show changes in muscle output and even nervous system activation after an adjustment. And then you've got biochemical side, substance P, oxytocin, interleukins, cortisol, all of those show positive changes after a spinal adjustment. There's even some evidence showing immune system responses, but findings on those are a little bit mixed, probably more research is needed to confirm clinical significance. Yeah, stretching feels good, but manipulation does more. It's not about the pop either. That sound doesn't really matter. What matters is taking the joint past its current limited range into a therapeutic, physiological range, which by the way was another thing he got wrong.